Damien Priest is making big claims about his cash-in, so we'll see what's new there. We'll also check out what's going on with Mercedes, WrestleMania 40's big hint, and more. Starting things off with Mercedes Monet. It's been known for a long time now that she would be heading over to AEW, and it looks like the company has officially started their rollout for her big debut. AEW Dynamite will take place in Boston's TD Garden on March 13th. Tony Khan has titled the show as Big Business, with him describing it as a very important night for AEW and the entire pro wrestling industry. And in the graphics for the event, Boston is spelled with two S's, and they're both dollar signs, which appears to spell out boss in a very clear reference to Mercedes' old boss nickname from her days as Sasha Banks in WWE. And that appears to be the official confirmation of Mercedes' AEW debut. She'll be walking down the AEW ramp on March 13th, and Tony Khan says it'll be a night that's very important for the entire industry. So a lot of fans are curious to see what Mercedes could get done in AEW and how far she can help lift the division. Damian Priest's reign as Mr. Money in the Bank has been very enjoyable so far, especially with the constant ongoing Judgment Day conflicts spicing things up from time to time. But one of the main criticisms about Priest's reign with the contract is that the fans feel like he's missed some golden opportunities to cash in his contract without even trying. Well, during a recent interview with the West Sport, Damian Priest appeared to clear the air on why he can't cash in right now. He had this to say about the topic, quote, Well, obviously I'm based on Raw, and being that Seth Rollins is the champion, unfortunately, he's not medically cleared. So I can't cash in right now because officially he can't be in the match. So I kind of just have to wait until he's cleared. Or, you know, if I find myself on the other show, it'd be different. But that champion is not really around all the time either. So it's one of those things that I'm just bidding my time. I still have till July 1st. I have plenty of time. So I don't want to risk doing something I shouldn't. Like you said five times. I've attempted but didn't cash in. I'd rather that than a failed cash-in. I'm just being extra careful right now because this is not going to go to waste. In my head, I have to become world champion. Whether it's on Raw or SmackDown, either way, I have to become a major title holder. And I have to be extra careful about it. So I still have time. And then obviously, we got WrestleMania coming up. And that's always a good time. Whether it's Mania, the SmackDown before, the Raw after... It's always an exciting time, so you never know what can happen, end quote. So Damien Priest sprinkled in a lot of good storyline explanations there for the big holdup regarding his cash-in. He claims that Roman Reigns is hard to cash in on since he's always in and out and never truly around full-time. He also says that he can't cash in on Seth Rollins since Seth wouldn't be able to take part in the cash-in match due to how he's not medically cleared for matches. So Damien Priest makes a lot of great logical claims there with his explanation. He still is technically until July 1st at midnight, so still right around five months to go before it expires. So he just wants to take it slow, examine every single situation, and have a successful cash-in. And like Damien Priest even hinted at there himself, a lot of people are circling WrestleMania week on their calendars for Damien's cash-in. It's been a popular fan theory for months now, that Damien Priest will cash in at WrestleMania and rip away the World Heavyweight Championship from the winner of the match. But like he said, even the Raw after WrestleMania could be another good spot. Damien also technically has the right to cash in on Roman, but he knows that may be a serious uphill battle, especially with The Rock now being in Roman's corner. So that basically writes off any cash in attempts happening on Roman. So Damien Priest will cash in on the World Heavyweight Champion, no doubt about it. It's just the place and time that still remains unknown. It's also been a popular rumor for a while that Damien Priest cash in could also mark the end of his time in the Judgment Day. Maybe he gets kicked out after becoming World Champion because he becomes so mad with power. But the popular belief and rumor for the longest time has always been that he would break away from the group following a potential successful cash in. Rhea Ripley even said in a recent interview that the Judgment Day will never break up and how they'll always be together because they're family. 
but we'll have to see if things go the opposite way there over the next few months, and especially after Damian Priest cash in. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes has been confirmed for WrestleMania 40, but fans feel like there's another big reveal and twist for WrestleMania coming up that WWE hasn't revealed yet, and this potential twist and upcoming reveal was hinted at in a new WrestleMania 40 hype trailer. In this new piece of promotional material for WrestleMania, Roman Reigns, The Rock, Cody Rhodes, and Seth Rollins were all on set. The trailer shows new content of all four men on this WrestleMania soundstage. The Rock and Roman Reigns are standing side by side with each other, and across from them is Seth and Cody, who are also standing side by side with each other. There was even quick flashes of The Rock posing by himself in ring gear. The screen flashes again and shows just Roman and Cody standing in front of each other in full ring gear as well. Before the WrestleMania logo comes up promoting Night 1 and Night 2 of WrestleMania. So it's strictly speculation. This new hype trailer doesn't confirm any match for The Rock. But the way it flashed between Roman and The Rock versus Cody and Seth and Roman versus Cody, some fans are wondering if those are the main events for Night 1 and Night 2. Night 1 main eventing being Roman Reigns and The Rock versus Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes in a tag team match, with Night 2's main event being Roman versus Cody in a singles match. It's being reported that The Rock is locked in and committed to getting physical and competing at WrestleMania 40. But with the storyline turning back into Roman versus Cody, fans are curiously waiting to see what The Rock's new role could possibly be after the recent change. Considering The Rock is being advertised for upcoming editions of SmackDown and is now officially involved with the promotional material for WrestleMania 40, that appears to be full confirmation that The Rock will at least physically appear at WrestleMania 40 in some capacity. His role, though, still is a big mystery, but maybe his upcoming SmackDown appearances will paint the picture over time. Will he take part in this tag team match that was hinted at in the WrestleMania trailer? Or will this appearance simply be a regular interference in the Cody vs. Roman singles match? WrestleMania 40 appears to be heading in a very fascinating direction either way. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.